So today I thought I would do a quick video on what I eat in a day when I am not doing Skinny Box. So I haven't um, been eating Skinny Box. I think this is my second week. So um, sometimes I just take a break in between there, if, especially if I have um, outside events or other things going on, um, I will take a break. And so today I wanted to do uh, just a quick video on what I eat in a day. So in the morning, I usually fast until about noon. So I drink water and then I have um, two cups of coffee. And I'm not a big breakfast person. And so just kind of fasting in the morning um, feels good to me and I enjoy that. So I am going to make lunch. And so what I am having for lunch today is I am using the Egg Life Garden um, Salsa Wrap. So they look like this. And I am going to put some stone ground mustard on it, um, some provolone cheese, and then uh, some honey roasted turkey breast. I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to put um, one slice on there because uh, it's a smaller wrap. And then I'm also going to have a um, low fat um, or the lower calorie, low fat, whatever they're called, uh, string cheese. And then also going to have the dairy free we um, yogurts. I, I like the dairy free we um, coconut milk yogurts. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I'm dairy free. I mean, obviously I'm eating provolone cheese. So, um, but I do like the dairy free yogurts. And then in that, I will have a little bit of this um, safe and fair food company chocolate chip cookie dough granola. And so this granola is gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, kosher, whole grain, ancient grains, plant-based, cholesterol-free, no artificial ingredients, preservative-free, and no high fructose corn syrup. So it has pretty clean ingredients. Um, it does have a little bit of cane sugar and it has some sunflower oil which doesn't excite me but it's okay so i am going to put a little bit of this um it says the serving size is a third of a cup which i don't even come close to that i might do i don't know about a tablespoon again i'm not measuring because i am not um eating skinny box this week so i'm just kind of measuring with my heart um and then in addition to that pull it out of my garbage can because i'd already thrown it away i'm going to do the amy's um light and sodium organic soup the lentil vegetable so i'm going to have some of that with it so excuse my mess in my kitchen i have dishes up here. I'm getting ready to put my egg life wrap in my air fryer. So I have some of that out and I'm in the midst of emptying my dishwasher. So real life kitchen here. This is me living in my kitchen, working in my kitchen and just doing a quick video. So I will be back um, later this afternoon. Usually in mid afternoon, I have a small snack. So I'll be back with that and check in with you then. So here's a quick look at what my lunch looks like. I have the soup, I have the egg wrap with the turkey and provolone, the string cheese, and the yogurt with the uh, granola. Okay, so I'm back. It's about three hours later, and I am going to have um, a small afternoon snack. So, <clears throat> so far today, I fasted this morning, um, and I started doing uh, opened up the fast with my lunch um, at noon and so finished that and so now I'm going to have a small snack and I'm going to do the it's the Aldi's brand um, the organic sea salt popcorn it's 35 calories per cup the serving size is about three and three-fourths cups one ounce or 28 grams if you're measuring 
Um, I'm not going to measure. I am going to measure by um, probably just three handfuls um, and call that a day. So I'm going to do, I don't know, probably about three cups of this dish. And then I also am going to have a bubbly sparkling water, um, the lemon sorbet. And this is just kind of a trick for my brain to make me feel like I'm having a sweet treat. I am not a sweet treat person, but I do sometimes like to have something a little sweet. And so this, this really does the trick for me. So this is zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugars, zero protein. I mean, it's sparkling water. So it's zero everything um, except for some natural flavor. And I really like um, bubbly brand. I also like Spindrift um, and I will occasionally have those. So I'm going to go ahead and get my popcorn poured into my bowl and my bubbly poured and I will show you my snack after I am done. Okay, I have my snack. This is about three and a half handfuls of the sea salt popcorn um, that I get from Aldi. And then this is my lemon sorbet bubbly um, with some ice. So this is my afternoon snack. I will be back um, in, I don't know, probably three, three and a half hours or so with what I'm going to make for dinner and then uh, with my dinner. I'll see you then. Okay, I'm back um, three hours later and so what we're doing for dinner tonight, this is not really like a typical meal that I would make when I am doing skinny box. So this is something that is definitely not, 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 uh, not a meal for the uh, low carb, high protein, um, lower in fat meals that you're looking for when you're actively doing skinny box. So this is definitely a midweek meal when you're busy, like I am this week. I have a lot of deadlines this week with work, so I'm looking for something that's quick and easy. So I'm trying a new thing that I have not had yet, and this is from Aldi. It is the chickpea crust pizza. It's just the cheese, so I'm not a big meat person, so no meat. So I'm giving this a go. It is gluten-free. Um, there's three servings in this pizza, and the calories are 320, 42 grams of carbs, with three of those coming from um, fiber. So, eh. um, again, this is something I'm eating when I'm not doing actively eating Skinny Box. And then there is 13 grams of protein. So, not all bad. And then we're going to have um, the Mexican street corn chopped salad kit. So there are three servings in this, 150 calories. This is actually going to, we'll probably eat all of this today. Um, so we'll use it more as two servings versus three servings. So it'll be a little more than 150 calories. Um, it's got 11 carbs, 12 grams of fat, two grams of fiber, and three grams of protein. It is green leaf lettuce, broccoli stalks, red and um, let's see, the red and green cabbage, carrots, smoked paprika, cornbread crumbles, green onion, crispy corn, and Parmesan cheese. So having that with it, and then also with the salad, probably a slice of um, the Aldi's sourdough loaf. Um, probably just toast it up and have a little bit of butter on it with the salad. And so that is going to be dinner. Um, I will give you a shot after I have it all done. It is in the process now of being cooked, so I will be back in a bit. All right, a quick little video over dinner. Here is the salad that is split out into two bowls. Toast with a little bit of um, everything but the bagel and red pepper flakes, and then the Aldi chickpea crust cheese pizza, and I did add a little bit of um, hot honey to the top. So we'll try that. And again, this is not a low carb dinner. This is just, 
I'm not really watching what I eat. This is pretty much just like intuitive eating. So this is a quick, fast, easy meal um, that I'm turning to this week for a super busy time in my life. And then um, once I'm back to the skinny box meals, I'll be back to the low carb, high protein, um, low fat meals. This is it for tonight. Okay, today's the next day. I totally forgot to do a recap of my day yesterday to kind of end the video. Um, so I had our meal um, in the evening and that is the last thing I ate for the rest of the day. So kind of like an intermittent, fast, intermittent fasting day. Um, I ate from, I don't know, probably about 12 to, 6 30 7 o'clock at night so not too bad um today i am doing coffee um and water and so i will be back with another video of um some of the videos that i have planned coming up what i eat in a day again um continuing down that path um <clears throat> today was more just what i eat in a day when i'm not tracking anything intuitive eating, not really trying to do like a high protein. It was just kind of a, you know, free for all. Um, and that is pretty much how I eat when I'm not uh, following skinny box. So I am very much of the mindset that I need to have breaks in between. Um, and I might gain a pound or two back uh, from taking those breaks, but they're worth it. Uh, for my mental health. So it um, just kind of eases the constant stress of uh, tracking and making sure I'm eating every three hours or, you know, two and a half hours, whatever it is. Um, and, and it's just a nice break to, um, to kind of give myself and give myself some grace. So that's why I do it. Um, you do you. If you if that doesn't work for you, then please do not do that. If it works better for you to steadfast and, and stay on track, then do that. Um, if you're like me and you need a little break in between, um, don't feel bad about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Um, I am not binging. I am not um, restricting. Like I'm not doing any of those um, things. And so it's really just trying to keep it in control and um and also give myself some grace in there too so that's what i'm doing so i'll be back with um i'm all over the place today like i can't even formulate a coherent sentence so that's cool but anyway so i'll be back with what i eat in a day with a skinny box and also without skinny box and i'm also going to do a video on how i order my skinny box and some of the things that i look for some of the new um, enhancements and features they have online um i'll go through those um, which is very exciting um, some of the things that they've added to make it easier to follow certain plans that they have so I will be back with those and also when I receive my skinny box what I got in my box I'll do an unboxing and what plan I'm going to be following next so all of those uh, videos I have in the works over the next week or so so I will definitely see you soon